Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome to Let's Plays with Wookie. I am your host here, The Wookie. I hope you are enjoying yourselves and having a wonderful day today. We are playing Let's Play Project Zomboid. Project Zomboid is a open world sandbox survival zombie horror. And we are going to be doing episode one, learning the zombie apocalypse. So hopefully you can sit back, relax, and enjoy the content. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we will get right on into the tutorial and learn as we go. We will try our best to give as many tips, tricks, and little hints that we learn along the way. Um, as this will be a decently long series. But now, let's go. Well, this is how I died. Lovely. Welcome to Project Zomboid. Soon you will die horribly. No one will mourn you. And you will be swiftly forgotten. Everything will have been for nothing. So let's make sure you go out fighting. First thing, uh, first things first, you can zoom with your mouse, wheel, or the... Uh, what is that? The, uh, bloody... <laughs> Equal sign? <laughs> and a dash. Let's get some, let's get a bird's eye view of the lonely place where you're about to die. Miserable! And alone. Nice. Now, zoom back in again. Okay. You are great at this. Let's have a look at your character information. Click the flashing heart over on the left. Ah, here you see your health status. Scratches, bites, bleeding, broken limbs, all are listed for your convenience. It's also here that you can bandage and treat wounds. Okay, good to know. So, I wonder if there's a keybind for that. Uh, do you know another good panel? Yes, the skill panel. Click on the skill tab, please. All right. Awesome. It uh, really will be such a shame to lose you. This panel shows your points in various different survival skills. In-game activities build up skill points that level you up in each discipline. Learning skills can be increased by reading books and watching certain TV shows. Oh, cool. You watch TV. Uh, ultimately, your brain will become cold, dead sludge. But in the meantime, why not learn carpentry? <laughs> Jesus was a carpenter. Let's go learn some carpentry. Take uh, time to take off those training wheels, lady. Close the character panel by clicking the cross. Ooh. And we'll move on to the next exciting aspect of survival life. It's looking at stuff. Woo! Hold down the right, right mouse button and... Oh. And move the mouse. Oh, okay. You will turn and face any angle. Hold left control and move the mouse to do... Hang on. You'll face any angle. Hold left control and mouse. Moving the mouse will do this too. Oh, okay. Okay, so left control can be a whole lot easier. All right. Yeah, left control feels a lot uh, easier to work with. Then it does the right click. Right click feels a bit scungy. Uh, you can see in any direction you're facing, swift and unexpected death can come from behind, whether from an undead host or your fellow man. Hope my mans ain't coming out here to kill me. Uh, let's get some blood pumping before it congeals and rots. Move around with WASD. Why not walk into the adjacent room? It's definitely safe. Question mark? <laughs> see, I told you it was safe. I think this raccoon's lying to me. Now let's strafe. Holding the right mouse button, you will look, uh, it will let you look around while walking. This will help you line up attacks and watch your back. Ah, alright, so it's like... Excuse me? Dead person alert. You're gonna have to do some looting if you want to uh, survive an attack. Head back to the market, marked counter on the kitchen, um, and we will learn how to steal. 
Why do I need to steal something in the zombie apocalypse? Starvation can be- oh god, I need to move my camera. Um, starvation can be delayed by looting food from your homes. Homes of the recently deceased. Move your mouse over the loot panel and expand it. Oh, a dead mouse. To pick it up, uh, let's double click. Alright. We should probably pick up that empty bottle too. Dying of thirst is horrid. Okay. Um, see the moodles to the right? Um, looks like something's going got a rumbly tumbly. Ah, oh, okay. Time to eat. Right click the dead mouse in your inventory to see the... Oh my goodness. Right click. Um, I can eat one half of him. All right, we're just going to eat all the dead mouse. That is vile. That's better, apart from the nausea. Yeah, right. To learn about what each Moodle means, uh, move your cursor over them. So peckish, could do with a bite to eat, and queasy, taking things easy. Hey, hey, better fill up your bottle before the water supply is cut off. Right click items in the world, it will bring up an interaction option. Move next to the sink and right click to fill the bottle. Oh, empty bottle. Okay. You automatically drink from water that's carried in your main inventory. Let's see what's in the other cupboards. Ah, okay. So, nothing, nothing. A frying pan! We have a weapon! Nice enough. Uh, well, that's... <laughs> well, it's near enough a weapon. Right-click the frying pan and select the quick primary so you can use it. And all the dead folk you meet. It's gonna be a real meat cute. Alright. Oh my, it's getting hot in here. Let's pop open a window and get some fresh air in while your lungs are still inflated. Walk to the flashing window behind you. Oh my god. Oh, hello, dead person. Sorry about that. I should probably put a sign up saying that I'm recording. Let's get out there. Press E will interact with objects in front of you, most notably doors and windows. All right. Well, I don't want to climb out there. There's a. I want her hat though. Let's go. Climb out of the window and beat that corpse back to death. Nice. All right. Holding E climbs out window. Holding the right mouse button will ready the weapon. All right. So we're ready. Hold the mouse button using WSD to strafe. Up close to that fetid hat woman. Left click the mouse button to attack when ready. Remember, hold the right mouse button to ready the frying pan and left click to swing. <laughs> Suck it. Should I sound dead? Double tap. <sighs> you could have also pressed space to shove her, but right now we need to go for the head. Um, the, in, the Insomnic Cursor is vital to do this. The Insomnic Cursor shows your mouse position in relation to the floor. Line yourself up using the right mouse and use the circle at the bottom of the Insomnic Circle to target the head. Ah, okay. The frying pan broke. Um, your mother's skull. What? That was mum? I killed my mum. No, mum. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, mum. I didn't mean to do it. Um, well, that's a drastic turn of events. Let's borrow the hunting knife we planted in her back earlier. Well, this took a turn. This took a huge turn for the worst. I have no idea. My goody goodness. Um, Luton equipped the hunting knife from Mother's body. Right click the hunting knife on the looting panel. Oh my goodness. Equip this primary. Oh, you hear that? There's more. Move up to the gate. Um, in the tall fence, press E to open the gate, or click on it with the left mouse button when you're close. But she she has things. I want I want I want her hat. Can I wear her hat? Oh, I can't I can't put her hat on. That's depressing. I wanted to kill zombies and stuff. Ah, right. Okay, vegetation sham 
vegetative Jesus vegetative shamblers in the vegetable garden but he's got enough brain function to see you if you sneak you'll make less noise you'll be less visible Just push C to topple crouch all right wow it's like you're invisible I mean we've maxed out your skills here but it is impressive um, if you sneak close to the wall fence or vehicle You'll crouch lower and reduce the visibility even more. Okay, good to know. So silent, and yet so deadly. Like a doomed ninja. <laughs> a doomed ninja. Uh, this is some special forces stuff right here. Strafe close behind him with a knife. Your arm will raise to show you're in place for a stealth attack. Strafe by holding right. Mouse button, attack with a left click when directly behind. Getting close, alright. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. What are you doing? What are you doing? Crouch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro's sleeping. Oh, that was dad? Oh my god, seriously? This is messed up. You did it! No more daddy issues. Wow. Now take this bag and put it on. <laughs> Make sure you're standing over the corpse and right click the large backpack in the loop panel to show the interaction options. Okay. Uh, large backpack? I can see his undies, but that's about it. Strapless bra. Am I looking at the wrong person? Yes, I am. Okay, there we go. That's why. Equipped. Yeah, so they had their gold rings. Maybe if this was, you know, if I was able to... Oh, hello. Oh, we got a, a loaded shotgun with some bandages. You always do your best. Equipped it with both hands. Nice. Jeez. All right. I thought that was me accidentally shooting. The window in Dad's shed just broke. Right on time! Vault the fence and let's check it out. Running um, at the fence will make you jump over it automatically. Run uh, using left shift. Okay. Uh, there we go. Zoom in a bit. Can't see too much. Dad was a prepper, but he didn't prepare for um, you, did he? <laughs> um, take his gear, ignore the glass shards, climb through the broken window by standing next to it and push E. Or left click. Um, oh no! Your hands are bleeding. The broken glass in the window shredded them. Who saw that coming? That makes sense. Open the health panel by pushing H. Okay. The bandages from the backpack will help. Right click on the red text. Ah, okay. And apply bandage. Alright, let's... Ugh. Okay, so glass makes a lot of noise, guys. Glass makes way too much noise. Alright, let's check outside in case there's more moldering flesh autom autom automations? Automatons, no? <laughs> Alright, oh, wrong button, wrong button. WASD, buddy. WASD. Okay, curtains stop you being seen, but they also stop the horde seeing in. Open the curtain isn't probably safe. Well, we're gonna do it anyway. Hi, sir. Um, two of them. Three if you count your sister on the floor there. Ha <laughs> ha, puns. Better get some improved protection from their nail uh, and teeth. Okay, thicker clothing. God, get in there. Oh, okay. Um... Put on what you think will be best for the final encounter. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna chuck on bandana. We're gonna put the baseball cap on. We're gonna wear it backwards because we're a G. Um, we're gonna go the leather jacket because leather jacket obviously is a lot better. I don't know why it doesn't look like we're wearing it though. That's because I don't think we actually are. Oh, another bandana. Okay, 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 yeah. All right. Yeah, where? Yeah, alright. Um. Okay, now let's go military boots. Chuck them on. Military grade camo shorts. Alright, we should. We should be all good. Should be all good. All right, boys. Let's go get them. Uh, how do I get rid of this uh, menu again? I 
remember. There we go. Just off click. All right. Hey, dummy. Come on. E. All right. Remember that you can sneak to make less noise. C to crouch and move. All right. All right. You have, uh, if you have high enough skill and unexhausted, then tall fences can be climbed. Right, E to climb over the wide fence. So athletic. Oh no! Whoo! Double whammy! We'll soon be back together. Um, every zombie in the forest heard that shotgun and they're coming for you. Oh! Okay! They're getting close. Um, you know how to run. Um, but there's how to sprint. Sprint to the marker in the other house. Now! Left old. All right. Last advice: If you ever get bit by a zombie or fear one is imminent, press Q, and you will swallow the antidote. No. Only kidding. Oh, <laughs> you cheeky fuck! All hope is go gone. There is no a um, antidote. Have fun. Holy crap. Ah! They got in real quick. Oh. Uh. I'm too fast for you, boy. Holy mother of jeez. Um, okay, strong panic. Why, why are we panicking? We should be all good. We, we got out of there. Get out of there. We got out of there. I don't think the horde is following me now. I think we're gooch. Okay. Let's see if we can get into this house real quick. Yeah? It's locked. It is not good. Alright. I think the game was expecting me to try and fight that horde. Do you know what? I'm going to give it a go. Let's go see where they are. Yeah, look, here they are. They're coming to me. Oh, that was just atrocious, mate. Ah! Am I out of rounds? Reload! Reload! Oh, well, that's, that's great. So I've, this guy looks like he might have something. How do I get my other weapon out? Is the real question. No, that's not the right button. That's not the right button. How do I get my? Bruh. Oh my, do you know what, I'm just... No sacrifice, no victory! I'm gonna die with my dad! <laughs> oh my! Survive 17 minutes, 33 seconds. Killed 9 zombies, and the game mode was tutorial. For further help in the... God, they are loud, aren't they? They're very loud. Alright, quit to a main menu. Yeah, that god, that was that was stupid loud. Okay, so this definitely seems like it's an interesting interesting game nonetheless. So we're obviously gonna we are gonna start this one um off with a small one, I guess. Thank you very much everyone for joining on in for the little tutorial. We will be back with episode two. Wookie survives the apocalypse. Hope to, you guys all enjoyed this. Don't forget to hit that uh, sub, like, and all that. It's your Uncle Wookie, signing out. Bye for now, not forever. <laughs>